when you arrive at a new community, what attracts you? Is it the well-structured buildings, commercial activities carried out by residents, or maybe the well tarred roads? Our trip to Otei Community Development Association led us to Adegbola Ulujobi Road, one of the very few roads constructed by Governor Akimu Miyambode in a Amu Ward of in local government area. An arrival at the estate community gates to the right is the commissioned road which now gives the whole vicinity a modern look. Proud to the construction of the road in 2016, community members highlighted the ordeal they faced in this area as the stories of the past left bitter boards in their mouth. When I moved in, the, there was no road leaking to this community right from Abulado. So as I got to this community, we always bring our materials in the halfway of this road. And six of them, we, the community, we put hand together to be bringing sand to fill major, major of the roads that to leak all to other streets in this estate. The time I parked inside this community, there is a, a lot of bush, bad road. Even we, can, we cannot take our material in here. Even to, to see Okada, when, when there is a learning season, everybody will just park his vehicle outside the Abladu bus stop and use leg and there because when Okada take you, Okada will throw you inside the water. Uh, before the construction of this road, the community was bushy and rough. But we thank God for our excellency that make this road for us. We really thank God for him. We really thank him. We give kudos to him. A once swampy area which was rejected by all has now become the hub of an essential growing population of about 5,000 people. According to residents living within this area, the construction of the road has helped to fast track development and curb the constant gridlock and restriction of movement of both goods and people. It has helped a lot because um, so many people, this place used to be very bad in terms of road. So people don't want to live here. People, even those who have properties here, because of bad road, can't even develop them. But with this road, people have started coming to develop their properties. Tenants are started moving in, making this place to look uh, economically viable. Yeah, initially the road was damn bad that we cannot link to the express. But today, the access that uh, leads to the express has been taken care of by the Ambode led government. Then again, to, to, to touch us, to, to come closer to us, they came down here, the Olujobi Street has been taken care of as well, and they interlock this road, and they make it perfect for us. The transportation from here to Express was far, far higher, but today it has come down to 100 Naira, which is a bit okay for us because of the road uh, uh, infrastructure. On the governor of Lagos State, Ambody, since the start, the commission on this road, so many vehicles have been passing this road. This is the major road that passed in this estate. He links to road 3, road 4, road 5, and 6, and 7 to road 8. My car can coming through this road and going out in the morning. And even the children going to school, the school bus come in and pick them from this, from this road. In ensuring that these amenities provided by the government are well maintained, the community association formed by these residents took it upon themselves to assist the government by fostering other social amenities such as speed brakes, mounting of road barricades, among many others. We want this road to last. We do not want heavy trucks to pass through this place. We put a barrier so that big trucks will not uh, will pass here for a moment. Uh, if you look at the road too, uh, to reduce the speed of all these Okadas and other because this is a residential area, to control the speed, we put, uh, because the community, we put the speed breakers to reduce the speed and uh, save the lives of the children around this area. While some complained of lack of proper drainage system which was caused by the contractor that handled the job, others lament the difficulties they are facing in maintaining the street light and the generator set which was installed to power heat. These community leaders, however, emphasized that certain steps have been taken as a responsible association to resolve these issues. If we go closer now, you see that each compound 
Each compound is flooded by, by water. The, the compound is down while the gutter is up. And for that reason, the water cannot come into the gutter. Before the construction, you, even if rain, rain, everything will go slow. But the, the, the road is more higher than the house. The contractor that do this road, I have reported him in local government during our meeting. I reported him. I said he should come and do something. It's affecting us in this side badly. And this is not what the governor asked you to do. Since on the 16th of September 2016, the gen have not been working. They have not been functioning well. Where the ex states have to put a protector so that the people coming in here will not even be able to have access to the gen. So that is what the ex states people did for the protector to secure the gen. But up to now, it's not working. And we've been doing the following up since last year and nothing has been done. They however appreciate the Lagos State Government for its efforts in seeing into the development of communities within the state. One, one good story is, is, is that, uh, another. This good work they started, please, I'm begging the government of somebody government, Tesawaju Eko, let them increase more of the, uh, doing more road in this Otei Garden estate. We thank Ambode what he's doing well and my message to him, we really appreciate him for his good works that he be doing in Lagos particularly. We really appreciate him and we also want him to do more. But you see from the beginning from Abu Lado Dan, they, we want him to come and do open malls, do more roads for us in our estate, in our community.